Hi, Sean here from the tour guide. Today, I'm gonna to show you an amazing one day sightseeing itinerary in Paris. This suggests that Paris on a day itinerary starts at 8.45 a.m. and ends at 8.45 p.m. There's a lot to see in the City of Lights, so we've created a path that's perfect to get from point A to point B. We've also recommended some areas where you can maybe cut some things so you can take a break in the afternoon. Set. Louvre, 8.45 a.m. Many say it's best to visit Louvre in the morning, when there will be fewer people inside. The Louvre is open daily from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and closed on Tuesdays. On Wednesdays and Fridays, it's open until 9.45 p.m. during certain seasons. Booking with a tour group is also the easiest way to skip the line, which you will want to strongly consider doing for the Louvre. If you're in Paris only for a weekend, then you probably want to limit your visit to about two to three hours. This will give you enough time to visit Louvre's main attractions, such as the Mona Lisa, Nikkei, Liberty Leading the People, and the Coronation of Napoleon paintings. So I'm a little tuckered out. We've been doing a lot here. You know, a lot's been going on. I'm gonna take a seat real quick, enjoy the view while I'm doing that. And you could just like take a second to like the video if you like the video and subscribe if you like what we're giving out so far. We've got tons of other videos and tons of new content coming out all the time. But give me a minute, I'll be back. Going from the Louvre to La Marais on foot will take about 25 minutes. By underground, about 15 minutes. La Marais, 11 a.m. La Marais is a super cool area. People love it because there's tons of great shopping with little boutiques and awesome food. Uh, one of my favorite things to eat in La Marais is a nice light falafel. I know falafel doesn't sound French, but it's super pretty. This neighborhood is also home to Paris's Jewish and gay quarters. La Marais is a great area to visit for first-time visitors to Paris, as well as those who've already visited multiple times. Many of my friends always like to stay in La Marais just because it's beautiful. I was talking to a tour guide, one of our tour guides here, and uh, they were telling me that, that, do you know the shop window was invented in Paris? No, that's yeah, what you're cool. saying. So basically, um, I, I guess, before, they didn't have like big windows like this in front of stores. They just have like small windows and you wouldn't put anything in the window to attract the wind. There should be like a sign outside being like, men's jackets, you know, whatever it is. And uh, when Paris started to like really get cool in like the 16th and 17th century, I guess they built bigger windows and they put all their cool items out front and they would just do a ton of light inside the building to like highlight the items so that the light would fill out into the street. So like in every other city in Europe, you just, when the sun went down, you just go home. But here, the, all the streets were, were lit up, like city lights, and then all the shop windows lights would pour out into the street, also lighting up the streets. It's a 15 minute walk to get from La Marais to Notre Dame. Notre Dame, 12.45 p.m. Full stomach, it's time to see Notre Dame. If you wanna check out the inside of the cathedral though, you'll be able to enter anytime from 7.45 a.m. to 7.15 p.m. on weekends. Pro tip. Don't forget to walk around the entire exterior of the cathedral so you don't miss to see any of the amazing flying buttresses up close, which are on the opposite side of the entrance. Pont Neuf is Paris's oldest existing bridge across the Seine River. Henry IV completed construction on this bridge and inaugurated in 1607. So one of our tour guides was telling me how Pont Neuf, which is the bridge we're on right now, or kind of on the end of, uh, was the first big project in Paris when Paris was having its renaissance and um, it's really cool because well, they have first of all the equestrian statue which people like were really excited about I mean you see around now with European cities the equestrian statues are everywhere but like when you got your first one it's like well now you're like a real European city and it puts you on like as a landmark for the for the tour of Europe but also like even the bridge if you look over here like the sidewalks you know that was like the first time sidewalks were ever really used before it was just a street and most of the streets were just like mud, hopefully you get cobblestones, you know? But you were just walking and there's horse and carriages going by and like you get the mud on you and you're all nasty. This was actually the first time raised sidewalks were ever used, which were obviously adopted literally everywhere on the planet. Paris in like the, the 15th, 16th and 17th centuries took Europe out of like the, you know, this old European time into what's known as the modern world. And Paris was like the first modern city and Pont Neuf it's like the center of that happening. It was like the epoch moment where it was just like, let's move forward. Just like anywhere else, Paris offers a variety of options in terms of where to stay. 
It depends upon what you're willing to spend. You can find some of the most upscale experiences in Paris hotels. We recommend three star and up. B&Bs are also an amazing option because you get a more homely feel. Getting from Notre Dame to Arc de Triomphe will take about 20 to 30 minutes depending on which mode of transportation you choose. Arc de Triomphe, 2.30. If you want to see the Arc de Triomphe, you're probably a little bit hardcore and you just want to check out everything. We think it's a bit ambitious. If you want to do it the Parisian way, you should probably take your time, walk slow, and just enjoy what's in front of you. To get from the Arc de Triomphe to Eiffel Tower will take about 20 minutes by underground. Eiffel Tower, 3.45 p.m. From the Arc de Triomphe, you can get to Eiffel Tower in 20 minutes using the underground. Pretty much everyone will plan to see the Eiffel Tower at some point during their trip to Paris. And while it may seem obvious that the Eiffel Tower lights up at night, did you know that every evening the Eiffel Tower twinkles for five minutes every hour on the hour? It's a magical sight and it's even better when you're standing close to the tower. Obviously the time it starts twinkling depends on what time you're visiting because sundown changes on a daily basis. There's also a really cool view from Trocadero. That's my personal favorite. You walk out onto this like huge platform and Eiffel Tower is about a half mile or 700 meters away and it looks amazing. I definitely recommend that if you're gonna see the Eiffel Tower up close, you should see it from a distance as well. And Trocadero is the best view. To get from the Eiffel Tower to La Marais takes about 40 minutes and we recommend taking the bus to enjoy the amazing views. La Marais, 5.45 p.m. After a long day, our high quality food tour in Paris is set in one of the most upbeat and charming neighborhoods in the city. We talked about it earlier, La Marais. Enjoy fresh oysters, creamy French cheeses, creme brulee. Our food tour is one of the only food tours in Paris that actually eats as you go. We stop at restaurants, eating hot meals all the way through. It's amazing. So that's it. Now you have an amazing one day sightseeing at for Paris. If you like this video, click the like button. If you love it, subscribe to get all of our videos as soon as they come out. Otherwise, au revoir. What videos am I doing? Interessant. Appetit. I hear like, oh, rien, rien. Oh, rien, rien. It's not even that. I just sing rien, rien.